I'm proud to be your friend. Your anointing has brought this nation to another level. I don't know what would have happened to Christian Dom without your voice. This voice, so articulate, impeccable, all oh, because of us, you learned how to speak and do public speaking. Because of us, you stuck with one way of dressing. Today, I asked my wife, is he not tired of the three-piece boo-boo? But because of us, pan-Africanism, you stood for Africa. You spoke for Ghana. My friend, you did. My brother, you did. My colleague, you did. You have fought. Not with a sword, but with your words, you became a lone jihadist. And you were not killing human beings, but you were killing demons and principalities and powers. And you were bringing down ideas. When I look at you, I understand the scripture which says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of struggles, casting down imaginations. When I look at you, I see a soldier who armed himself with the word. With the word! And you went into the wilderness. Sir, you killed the beast of ignorance. You killed the beast of tradition in the church. You eradicated complacency in the church. You told us we can be learned and still be anointed. You told us we can be wise and still be anointed. You told us we can go to heaven and still maintain earthly relevance. You taught us many things. Uh, and even those of us who shout a lot, you taught us how to slow down and make a point. Come on, somebody give a big clap offering to Jesus. Yeah!